Hi guys, back with Bastons. I hope you're all well, I hope you're keeping safe. Today I'm actually vlogging for Middleton's in York. Fabulous place, I'll put the link in the description. Um, I'm looking forward to my Sunday lunch. But I recently de-stickered a Planet Ocean of a friend of mine. Um, and um, I've met up with him and I said I'd do a more detailed review. And here it is. Um, it's the Blue Dial version. I think this is a fabulous watch. I think it is exceptionally good value for money. It's priced at £5,810. The equivalent Rolex Sea Dweller is priced at £10,300. Even the Submariner on a date version is priced at £8,050. And try and get your hands on one of those. You can get this watch readily available from an Amiga authorised dealer or through a boutique. Um, you will get a bit of movement on that watch as well. So I think this is actually a better pound per pound purchase than either of the Rolexes that I've mentioned. So a bit more about the watch. It is a ceramic bezel with uh, liquid metal inserts. It's a ceramic dial, raised indices that are in white gold. It has a date window, uh, which is in the same color. I do not need a Cyclops eye. Even with my bad eyesight, I can tell this. The action on the bezel is absolutely superb. It's easy to move. It's a 120 click action. So the movement is incredibly precise. It is better than the Seamaster. You have a helium escape valve. You have a screw down crown. No um, crown guards. You don't need any crown guards. And the crown guards, I tend to find, dig in to the hand. It is a sapphire crystal, which is AV coated front and rear. And the pierce to resistance is the movement. Sapphire uh, back and it's the 8900 series movement. It is COSC and META certified. It is a master chronometer. Uh, it has a 60 hour power reserve and it is amagnetic, not just anti-magnetic. The bracelet is exceptional quality. Um, it's satin finished, solid. The clasp, I have to admit, is not Rolex level. It's a swing arm clasp, but it's pretty substantial. It does have an on-the-fly adjustment, which is a push, which is very easy to use with a diver extension. I cannot stress, I think this watch is a really good purchase. I've also said in an earlier vlog, I think it is for the more older discerning male. I think the Seamaster is more for the younger male. Um, it is a chunky watch. However, when you put this watch on the wrist, because it has a lug of only 48.8, and there's no solid links, they, they pull down, it wears very, very well. My recommendation, is go out and buy this watch. Stay safe and stay tuned.